Got some serious hat hair going on. Hey, what's happening? I'm Jake Warner. I'm a student at Aston University and today was the day that I graduated. We had an early start, so at seven o'clock I woke up in Birmingham and we started to get ready for the day. That was when I realized I didn't know how to tie a tie. I tried three times before I realized now nah, this isn't gonna happen so one by one everyone started arriving at the house we went to go and collect our gowns now these gowns i didn't expect to have to pay for them but they were quite expensive and that was quite a big occasion because it was the first time i'd actually seen in real life one of those hats you know the flat hats with the square it was the first time i'd ever seen one of those in real life <laughs> so we put in on the gowns i thought i'd look quite silly at first i probably did look silly but everyone was doing it so we could feel silly together so obviously my grandparents couldn't let the day pass without some professional photos being taken this lady kind of ushered me in, tucked all my hair into my hat, and she handed me this drain pipe. Now, you've definitely seen the photos of the graduates standing there with the, uh, <laughs> with the certificate. Fun fact is that that certificate is not a real certificate. She tied a ribbon around this drain pipe, and I had to stand there and hold it like a wally. She also asked me to smile without any teeth. <laughs> I have no idea why, but I had to do a little smile like... <laughs> Once that was out of the way, we'd had a quick wander through town with the gowns going behind us. So we've had to go to town to pick up some last minute supplies. Apparently this man needs some sunglasses. So after we'd been to Primark equipped with our new glasses, we had a quick wander through town before we went straight to the venue. After loads of photos outside, uh, we headed on inside. So we're here now, we're just about to go in. I've been told I can't take the camera inside with me. So I'm gonna give it to somebody in the audience so they can film what's going down. Once you get inside, there's a bit of a faff in terms of where you're gonna sit and who you're gonna sit with. But once you settle down, you have to listen to some, uh, some songs on an organ. And then we heard the life story of this guy called Farhan. I don't know who he was, but he had a pretty inspiring message about the importance of education. The people on the stage were sitting in thrones holding canes and they had these hats that looked like big cushions on their head. We all looked absolutely ridiculous, but everybody was going along with it. And I think that's what kind of normalized the whole situation. <laughs> so once the event was done, we single filed outside and we got loads of photos taken by the stairs. You know what? I think this whole day was mostly about having photos taken. The parents loved it, the grandparents loved it, the photographers loved it. There were just photos of us in these gowns. Now that could have been for two reasons. A, we look slick, or B, they all knew we looked stupid and wanted to take advantage of us by taking a picture. So after everything was said and done, we had all the photos taken with every combination of humans that we could. We headed off to the after party. Now that sounds a lot crazier than it actually was. It was quite a chilled out vibe. Instagram stories were up to date with the throwing of the hats and whatever. You had to have your wits about you because there were hats flying around left, right and center and you had to dodge out of the way of them the whole time. <laughs> so once we had the photos and everything done, we headed off home. But all in all, it was quite a fun day. I actually enjoyed it a lot more than I thought I would. The ceremony went well. <laughs> Do you have your hat on, but <laughs> <laughs> Get out. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed my account of the graduation day. If you want to keep in touch with me or find out what I'm up to post-graduation, you can find me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter by searching Jake Warner Music. I'm a musician, I actually have a show that I'm gonna make it to after I finish doing this this evening. But you can find loads of my stuff on YouTube, Spotify, and iTunes. Just search my name, Jake Warner. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching.